Hi folks, Rusty with Sagacity Allstream Fabrication here with another episode in our basic tech series. Today we're going to be talking about thermal wells. Thermal well is a piping component that allows you to interface your temperature measuring device with your process piping. This is a piping component and should be treated accordingly. Yes, it's part of a temperature measured system, but as a piping component first, you have to pay attention to the standards that, that affect piping. In this case, there's an entire standard written around thermal wells and that standard is ASME 19.3 TW. Why a standard? This is a piping component that's gonna be submerged in a fluid, your process stream. If you've ever seen a car antenna going down the road, it tends to wobble and it tends to migrate back and forth. If you do that with a thermal well and it vibrates enough, especially if it gets to its resonance frequency, it will work harden the metal that makes the thermal well and it will end up breaking. That's a really bad situation to be in. Um, if you want to see how bad and how messy it can be, you can Google up the Fukushima nuclear power plant accident that happened at the first part of this century in Japan. It got to be a real problem and they traced it all the way back to the thermal well. The ASME 19.3 TW standard was originally written in the 50s, revised in the 70s, and the most current major revamp of the standard was in 2016. As part of that standard, you have a resonance frequency calculation that takes into account all the process variables that, uh, from the fluid density to the velocity of the fluid moving past so that you can size this thermal well correctly so that it doesn't reach too far into the pipe and cause a resonance frequency that will work hard in it. That resonance frequency calculation is built into the standard, it's part of the standard, and you have to work with your thermal well manufacturer to make sure that you have the right type of thermal well and the right length of thermal well and the right process connection. There's different types of thermal wells. This particular one is a tapered shank well. This particular well is a straight shank well. This is a stepped shank thermal well. You'll have to determine by working with your thermal well or temperature manufacturer which well is best suited for your application. In every application, you'll have a process connection. In every instance that I've shown you, these are a threaded process connection, but they can just as easily be flanged. And in every situation, you'll have a way to interface your temperature measuring device, whether it's an RTD, thermocouple, or bimetal thermometer, and attach it to the thermal well. That is typically a quarter inch, half inch, or three quarter inch thread located at the back of the well. Even if it's a flange process connection, since the thermal well is taking the pressure from the process, the thread on the temperature measuring device doesn't have to hold process pressure, it just has to hold the device in place, so it's typically threaded. The U-length is the dimension from the base of the threads or the base of the flange, if it's a flange process connection, to the tip. The U-length is important because the longer the well, going back to the ASME standard, the more propensity for this to wobble in the process. Um, so typically the shorter the U-length you can get away with and still have an accurate temperature measurement, best situation is to do a compromise. Some folks say middle third of the pipe, other folks say middle half. Again, I refer back to the ASME standard to determine the correct U-length. Why is this important? Well, you have to match the temperature measuring device U-length with the U-length of the well. What you don't want is a lot of air in between the temperature measuring device in the inside bore and the tip of the thermal well. Air is not a good temperature conductor and it's almost a fatal accident to have a large air gap in the bottom of the well between your temperature measuring de uh, device and the base of the well. So make sure you size these two and match them together. In review, you'll want to be sure and get with your process piping folks to see what type of process connection uh, they want to use in your thermal well application. You'll want to then get with your temperature or thermal well manufacturer and make sure you do a resonance frequency calculation so you can determine the right shank size, type, and in particularly the U-length so that you can match your temperature measuring device to the thermal well. 
you have any questions about these standards or how to apply these correctly, be sure and give us a call. You can drop an email or chat with us on the website. If you like what you see in the basic tech series and you want to know more, be sure and like and subscribe to our channel. Uh, this is Rusty with Sejocity All Stream Fabrication. Thank you for your time.